unraveling the beauty of language. The rosebush explained. Hello, wonderful language explorers. Today, we're going to dive into the charming world of English phrases. Specifically, we'll unwrap the layers of meaning behind the term rosebush. It's a phrase you might encounter in poetry, literature, or even while talking about gardening. So, let's cultivate our understanding and see what blossoms. Before we get into the nuances, let's break down the phrase into its basic components. Rose refers to the fragrant flower that is often associated with love and romance. Bush indicates a type of plant that is typically smaller than a tree, with a lot of branches growing close to the ground. Put them together, and you have rose bush, which is literally a bush that grows roses. Simple enough, right? But there's more to it, as we'll soon discover. In literature and poetry, a rose bush can carry deep symbolic meaning. It's not just about the plant, it's about what it represents. Roses are often tied to emotions, like love, passion, and even pain. Think of those thorns. A rose bush in a story might not just be a piece of the scenery, it might symbolize a character's love life or their journey through something beautiful but challenging. Interestingly, the term rose bush doesn't usually appear in everyday idioms or expressions, but roses do. For instance, coming up roses means everything is going great, while a bed of roses refers to a situation that is easy and pleasant. Understanding the phrase rosebush helps English learners decode these expressions more easily because they share the common imagery of roses representing positivity. If you're talking to someone about gardening, mentioning a rosebush will likely conjure up very specific images and ideas. Gardeners might discuss the best ways to care for a rosebush, how to prune it, or what types of rosebushes are best for certain climates. In this context, it's all about the real-life plant and its maintenance. Across cultures, roses have been revered for centuries, and rose bushes often appear in cultural traditions, symbols, and even as national emblems. When English language learners come across references to rose bushes in English texts, recognizing this cultural significance can deepen their understanding of the material. And there we have it, a stroll through the linguistic garden of the phrase, rose bush. From its literal meaning to its role in expression and culture, we've seen how a simple term can hold a bouquet of meanings. I hope this exploration has enriched your appreciation of the English language and its floral facets. Keep nurturing your language skills, and soon, you'll be blooming with confidence. Until our next linguistic journey, happy learning!